Welcome to the Sew and Craft channel. My name is Shireen Haynes and I have been selling machines and accessories as well as teaching sewing, decor, craft and digitizing courses since 1993. I post videos with projects, hints and tips, how-to guides for products and short courses too. Look in the description box below this video for links to my other videos and courses. If you would like to know when I post new videos, click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon below this video. If you like this video, please click on the like icon and also please feel free to click on share because this will help me to spread the word that sewing and crafting are fun. Thank you. Let's take a look at setting up a wireless network connection for the Brother Scan and Cut. If you own a Brother Scan and Cut machine that has a wireless or Wi-Fi function, then that means you'll be able to transfer patterns from the Brother Canvas workspace wirelessly, either from your computer to the Scan and Cut machine or from the Scan and Cut machine back to your computer. To be able to use this function though, we must first set up the wireless network connection. So let me walk you through the process step by step. To start, make sure that your computer is connected to the internet via your router or your modem. And the next thing is to make sure that you know the network name as well as the password of your modem. You will need this information during the setup, so it's important to note it down before you start. A little tip, the network name is the same as the one that you'll see on your computer or your mobile device that is connected to the internet via your modem. The next thing that we're going to do is turn the scan and cut machine on. Now I'm just going to turn my machine on and once it's on I'm just going to go through the regular process of activating the machine. So I just touch the screen and then it will tell me that the carriage is going to move so I say OK and then it's going to open up the home screen for me. Now when there is no connection that has been saved on your machine you'll see up in the top left hand corner the little icon for the Wi-Fi but there'll be a little spanner or a wrench there. Now that means that this has not been set up yet so in order to set it up we're just going to touch on that then the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this WLAN enable function is turned on. So we touch on. Now you'll see that it establishes a connection with my network but now I need to go and save that network on this machine. So in order to do that I'm going to go to the setup wizard and that wizard is now looking for my router and it comes up with my router name. Now this is the one that I want to save onto my machine and this is the same one that I'll see on my mobile phone as well as on my computer. So I know that this is the one that I want to connect to so I'm simply going to touch that and then say OK. Now once I've done that it's going to ask me for that password. Now that's the password that I mentioned earlier that you should write down and then you're going to type that password into here. So it's your network password. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to type that in here and then we'll go to the next step. Now just before I type in my actual password and always remember it's the password or your network key. So that is the one from your router. But I'm going to give you a fictitious one just to show you how you access uppercase, lowercase, special characters and numbers. So let's pretend that my password is cat with an uppercase C and then I've got numbers and I've got special characters. So what I would need to do 
is first of all make sure that I'm on the uppercase selection to type in the uppercase C and up at the top here you'll see as I type the letters they form up at the top here so I can always double check. Now I need to go to my lowercase selection to put in the rest of the letters. Then I also have a special character and if I had a star I could see there I've got now cat and a star and then if there were numbers involved if it was for example 350 I would just type those in. Then once I'm done typing this in I would simply hit OK. If I've made a mistake I can also just use the little cross to delete what was incorrect. And then once you're happy with your password you're simply going to touch OK. Now that I've entered the correct password and clicked on OK the next screen that will open will the, be the one that will ask you if you want to apply these settings so we say yes because what will happen is it's now connecting to the internet again but it's going to save this point on my machine so every time I open the machine it will automatically connect to that router point so now it tells me that it is already connected to that router point but that I need to go and specify the canvas workspace setting now I'll show you how to do that in the next step but what we'll do for now is just say next then it says register the connection between your canvas workspace account and your machine in order to send the data via canvas workspace it tells you for more details to refer to the network setup guide but I'm going to show you how to do that so we say next now this is the next important step we are going to go onto Canvas Workspace and we're going to register this machine on Canvas Workspace. Now in order to do that, this is the number that you're going to type in on Canvas Workspace because once you have registered the machine on there, the Canvas Workspace is going to give you a PIN code. Now that PIN code is what we are going to put in on the next screen. So I'm just quickly going to go to the next screen to show you that this is where you will type in the PIN code that Canvas Workspace is going to give to you. But let's just go back a step because I'm now going to go on over to Canvas Workspace and I'm going to register this machine number on Canvas Workspace. Now to register on Canvas Workspace, if you've never registered before, you will simply type into your search bar of your internet browser canvasworkspace.brother.com then the Canvas Workspace page will open and it gives you the option to log in if you have already registered but if you haven't you'll simply click on new. Now another page is going to open which is your member registration page and here they give you an overview of the services but more importantly the registration procedure. So at the bottom of this page you're going to need to agree to the terms and conditions, enter your information, confirm your information, they will then send you an email and in that email there is a URL that you will click on and it will then take you to the Canvas Workspace page where you can log in and the registration would be completed. So this is where you need to agree to all the terms and conditions etc. So just follow all of those and then once that's done when you click on the URL it will take you back to the Canvas Workspace page where you can simply log in. So you would log in with the ID and the password that you had created during the registration process. You can also choose to stay logged in for seven days which would mean you don't have to keep filling in those two blocks. So I'm going to quickly log in And then I'm going to choose to stay logged in for seven days and click log in. So now once I've logged in, it's going to open up with the actual Canvas Workspace page 
and up at the top here you'll see your name that you had created as your username. Now if you click on that it's going to take you to all of your account settings. Now in your account settings there is the user information where you can check and modify information like for example if you want to change a password or an email address but the one that we are most interested in right now is the machine registration. Now I'm going to click on the machine registration and you'll see that I have already registered my machine. However you'll be registering a new machine so you would click on register a new machine and here you'll see that they tell you to enter the number that is on your screen on your scan and cut machine into this little block here. Now once you have said OK it's going to give you a PIN number. Now I'm going to cancel because I've already registered mine and if I just click on that little arrow there because you'll see it'll come up with your machine with its registration number and then you will be able to see your PIN code. So I'm going to enter this PIN code in on my machine right now. So now I've entered my PIN code that I got from Canvas Workspace. So I'm going to say OK. It will say Processing and then the next screen that will open will tell you that the Canvas Workspace setting has been specified. So we say OK. Now all that that means is that my Scan and Cut is now talking to Canvas Workspace and Canvas Workspace is talking to my Scan and Cut wirelessly. You'll be able to see your login ID over there and you will be able to change it here if you wanted to and if you ever wanted to delete your details from this machine you could do that but I don't want to do either of those so I'm going to click the back button now I'm finished with this so I'll just click the back button again and then you'll see I'm back to my home screen now I am currently connected to the internet so if I go to that connection and I go to my setup wizard it's going to look for my router. Now you'll see that instead of just putting my router there I know that it saved my router because it's put a big green dot next to it. So this is how you know that you are successfully registered and that this point is registered on your scan and cut machine. Now I'm going to just press my little return key and return again and get back to my home screen because I want to just show you that if I go into my settings and I scroll down I can go to the canvas workspace icon and there I can see I am registered. So if I click on it it takes me back to my registration page just with the confirmation that I am in fact registered. Now I click on the return icon, the home screen button and now I'm back to the main home screen. So now we have completed the process of setting up our Wi-Fi network connection. If you would like to know more about Canvas Workspace and how to use it, see the links to my other videos in the description box below this video. There will be more videos like this as well as short courses too so click on the subscribe button below this video as well as the little bell icon so that you don't miss any new videos. If you would like more information about Zonecraft please visit the website at the address on this page. Also on the website homepage there is a link to the Facebook page. So if you go to the Facebook page and like it you will have access to even more hints, tips and projects. You can also join the email list from the link on the website homepage too.